Ever seen how a T-80 tank's autoloader works? This is footage from inside the crew's office. This automatic mechanism grabs the ammunition, which has separate projectiles and propellant charges, from the carousel rack at the bottom of the tank, then rams them both into the cannon to be fired. It looks sophisticated and very smooth, doesn't it? But behind this automatic process, there's a harsh reality that the crews of these tanks face on the modern battlefield. First problem? Replenishing the ammunition in that autoloader rack. The process is extremely troublesome. The entire crew must work together, hauling heavy ammunition one by one through the narrow hatches and loading them into the carousel. This is a very long and exhausting manual process. The second, more critical problem. Even if the ammunition is fully loaded, they must constantly be on guard against threats from the sky. What else could it be but FPV drones that can attack at any moment? Because of this drone threat, the T-80 tanks on the battlefield now have very strange appearances. We can see various cope cages or anti-drone nets installed crudely. Some are even completely encased, looking like turtle shells or walking coffins. All these modifications that may look ridiculous are actually a grim portrait of the tank crew's struggle to survive. So, what do you think? How much longer can the legendary T-80 last in this era of drone warfare?